Welcome back, my friends, to the New Eden Republic. And this is the total power of our Federation. Well, not the complete, but pretty much a good chunk of it, like 200k or something. And you can see we are so powerful, we can fly into the sun and survive. It's, it's absolutely stunning. And so we'll go forward. So we have taken back nearly all of that. We're currently in the process of taking this mess back from the mammoth tree entity that kind of sweeped over us. And now, now is the time to attack and take them out. And then, then we'll go for, for that other tiny problem that kind of kills our solidarity of Peringo, our uh, Federation ally. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> It's all good fun. Let's make it fast, because why not? Because we can. Yeah, we have a lot more alloys incoming. Yeah, successively, the economic situation should Attempting recover to somehow. Planetary market. Somehow, but um, it's still very dire with, with all the consumer goods and food missing. So we're just gonna have to buy some stuff from time to time, like 10,000 food would be probably a good start. Special project actualized. And then we have consumer goods that we would like to get. Uh, 8,000, yeah, that's fine. And then let's sell something that we have superfluous. 10,000 minerals sounds good for me. Here we go. And we have found Really, now we've found crystalline entities. Reports of strange free-floating crystal-like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. The ship-size objects and their slightly smaller but equal, equally crystal-like satellites at first, at first appeared inert, but sudden shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they should be regarded as hazardous and approached with caution can either attempt to engage with the potentially dangerous objects directly or establish remote surveillance and observe them from a, from a safe Situation distance. Situation log revised. Yeah, let's decide that and let's have a look here to what's going on here. We have minor military, we're always opposing sanctions. Was it that? No. Repealing sanctions. We're all for repealing sanctions. We're against sanctions. <clears throat> so... Let's see. What do we have? Crystalline study. Yeah, task assigns the button with collecting and collating data relating to the crystalline entities. Is that we have also yeah, let's go to that thing. Nectar of hope. Oh here, yeah, okay. Hmm. At the Pelizimus. Yeah, there, there, there will be some time before we can really complete that quest. And now, have we done something here already? I mean, we've started to take something out. Let us see. Uh, oh, what is that thing? It's blue. Is that kind of super good or what is it? Hmm, I don't know. Tom 2.0 is, is leading this. And it's looking quite, quite great. It's it's looking good. Soon we'll have Blorp. For market secured. the Federation for the future. Special project actualized. The crystalline entities. Oh yeah, look at that. Jessica Lambert leveled up. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Crystalline entities, they are unbreakable. The crystalline entity is the name itself a compromise between rival factions of xenobiologists and xenogeologists of New Eden complex are probably alive. An earlier and perhaps more descriptive name for them was silicate animate matter, as they have little in common with biological life. They are solitary beings, each individual crystal sovereign rarely seen with more than a sentinel and a smaller cohort entity. Aside from the cohort and sent sentinel clearly being subservient to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuances of the crystalline entity's socio-hierarchical relationships are lost on us. 
The entities do not seem to mate, and uh, we have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to an early hip hypothesis, the shifts in you between individual crystalline entities seem to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed, and it appears as if those sporadic fluctuations in this chart alter the refractive properties of the crystal. Um, hmm. Crystal-infused plating or crystal focus? Um, crystal-infused plating. What was that? I think that was an additional thing that was giving you... Huh. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're more, we're more non-military than military, even though this is a military situation, but we need, always need energy credits. It sounds potentially useful. Well, we'll, we'll go with our civil background here. And, uh, yeah, I know crystal infused plating might have been better, but that's maybe a little bit of role play here. So we've taken Blorb. Lancer Mommy's here then. Will ya? What's going on here? Ah! Oh. We could really get, seizure of get some asset. Get some here. Ah, re 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 po. Where was that blue robot thing? I don't know, the bark garrison. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. Mm. No general here. Oh, we can activate the relic. Yeah, let's do that. The last bowl. Again, and which one will we now transform? We have... All of our original worlds we have transformed into Gaia worlds. And now we'll continue with... Um, not the den because that would give their relic that that relic world thing away. Let's see that this alpine world, the mountains of Everest. Twenty one. It's pretty big. New bowl life seeding. Here we go. I own environmental specialists are pleased to report that the terraforming process on mountains of Everest has completed. And it is now a Gaia world, and we have some new bowel people there. That's pretty great. And there's also a lot coming here in transforming that to something very nice. Oh, Paringo, what are you doing here? We don't need you here. Get your stuff together here. Ah. <laughs> did something again but we're here what about this man can retreat in one day I just leveled up or what what is that why is the droid force here people are moving away or at least fleets are Planetary moving away market secured. we got that Repo. Oh, that's the that was the Peringo then. Okay. And then let's fly over here to Nushi. Tom 2.0 gaining experience. Let's see if he will also get um, demanding a vassalization of the angel. The benefactory getting something. Oh. New bureaucracy, bureaucratic center. Ah, yeah, well. <laughs> Add 
Administrative offices. Let's go for it like this. Yeah, that little bit of in between. You never know. Commencing seizure of planetary asset. Here we go. Mushi. Uh, getting attacked. Yeah, let's let's take these out. Tom 2.0 is is very very ready. We have regular and experienced troops. I think there should be another tier, right? Mm -hmm. Not only experience, but something, something uber. Research Uberish. actualized. Applied superconductivity. More energy credits from jobs. Very nice. And now, um, yeah, I guess energy weapon attack speed would be good, but we'll go for <laughs> for the relaxed uh, <laughs> shield harmonics X. <laughs> Just because I don't have to switch the scientist there. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's it's also really good for all the ships, so I think it's better to have ships Planetary that survive than to have like the the best damage at this point. Transgenic crops or food from jobs. Nice. And now? Hmm. Biologically, we don't need the leader lifespan. It's just not there. I, I cannot see it. Let's see. What's what's most effective? Edict duration is very good. Administrative capacity is... <laughs> yeah. It's not that great. It's not that great. Let's see how many supports we get. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go this. It's most effective. Strelitz Gleb. We'll do that. Edict duration is so good. It's it's just. It's big so much at this time when you have so when you're working with so many edicts, it's just so great. And now, oh, we, we still have trim here. Let's fly over to trim. Hmm, and then. Look at that. that. There's five percent brains here. <laughs> they really managed to take some some stuff in here. In the mammoth tree entity. Or oh, ha have they invaded them? I'm really not sure. The merchants, they are not really strong. Attempting to acquire planetary yeah. market. Oh goodness. Did we have something going on here on trim? Yeah, here we go. Ah, yeah, double invasion. <laughs> hey, Elena Kazakova has new skills. She's paranoid now. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> uh, unwilling to collaborate. Research speed minus 5%, but um, I think she gets a higher... Higher probability for rare ticks or something like that. I think it was that. Great, we have a paranoid. A paranoid synthetic. Just great. Do we have anyone else here? Oh, look, that's not bad. That's something we could use here. A synthetic with a custom AI assistant. That's someone we need. We will need. Someone eager is also nice, always. Uh, there's, is there someone else? Mm. 
not really. Let's just build more two more uh, science ships, like somewhere in the middle of nowhere. That is maybe, maybe, maybe here somewhere. Are you building something already? No. Let's build two science ships here. Just for the Up sake of it. Complete. White star. Uh, hangar base. And trade hubs. Two trade hubs and here hyperlane registrar. Now that's row. We, we we need to send someone over to collect this row. Is that can we do we have a shipyard here? Yes. Then let's build a constructor here. I think one a third constructor at this point is in order. Do you think? Ah, yeah, here we go. Come it with six. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. No general, though. Yeah, but Tom is doing great. Only 13 years old. That's so odd to me. <laughs> I think it's a reimplanted brain from someone or Upscaling something like that. Complete. Habitats of the Olossi. Add something going on there planetary market secured nice so everything is back here now and we're gonna go like there let's travel to eternal horizon oh just let's let's travel to rule first here we go and here we go because let's see, I mean these guys are really uh, we want we want to stay together because that's nothing to joke at. That's how much is that? Two times seventy. That's one hundred and forty and forty. That's one hundred and eighty thousand. That's insane. <laughs> that's even more than we have currently. It's just. Research Absolutely insane. Extraction patterns. More minerals from jobs again. And now... Oh... Uh, ah... <laughs> I'm sorry about these sounds. It's the sounds I make when thinking sometimes. Defense platform damage could be useful someday. But not now. We'll go for arms. And that means, yeah, we should have like that swap thing. It's so. Where are you? Perfect, Alibi Jackson, you're here. And that's fine. And now we have someone else in here on the Traveler. I imagine they always shake hands. Like they, they go there and say, hey. Taking turns in the lab again? Yeah, yeah, you know the deal. Yeah, you know the deal. Everyone knows the deal. And that is that is Francesco di Gennaro. It could also be... Uh, Emmanuel Kahn, the next coming. I mean, we would reappear with a customer AI assistant, right? So. Have him there. Mm, supporting Catastrophia? I'm not sure about that. That doesn't sound right. Um, Degantu, maybe? No, Degantu is also already supported. Mountains of Liberty has someone on them. The Burning Furball has, has many options. Uh, the White Star, not so much. Yeah, we'll, we'll send you to the Living Moon. And the other ship will have Suzanne Leroux. We'll also set you to the White Star and to the Mountains of Death. 
at this thing. And we'll build a mining station here on the White Star. We definitely need more special resources. Again, 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 again. Can you join us? That would be nice. What's going on here? Are we... Oh, they are moving. Ooh, where are they? Are they moving? Oh, yes. Forces for freedom. <laughs> Thoughtful gamers. Charge. 33 days, 30 days. We'll get in there in time to help. It's the final countdown. Du -du -du -du. Oh, I think the Paringos are doing well there. Let's see. Paringos against the mammoth tree entity. Cinematic view. What's going on? Ah, the game has stopped working. No, there's probably some kind of loading screen. Look at this. Yeah, I think the Paringos did well. The massively oversized force that failed to secure their own turf. It's kind of close still, it's... Yeah, but I mean, there's a definite, definite advantage for the Peringos. Yeah. Competitors engaged. Sirog State is down, and we're in combat with a luring Bion Armada. Competitors engaged. Probably shot someone down with a petition beam, like boom. <laughs> So that's over. Mm. Oh, the force is doing. Let's move over. I think we're fine. We can move over here to Ektiki. Strike Force Medusa is coming. Are they are they coming? They should be leaving, and they will. <laughs> yeah, now it's getting a little bit better, right? Competitive station engaged. Well, that was it. Now let's go for the next. Brennis needs to be. We need to be quick. Or we need to have some engineering done. Get, get on to Oskam. <laughs> yeah, they're getting they're going to leave very soon. What's going on here? Another mega structure. And we're going for Brennis. Yeah, that's probably a one-shot problem. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Upscaling complete. Boom, down with it. Mm, on to Mestros. There's something here, but nothing really important. Here we go now. The mammoth trees. Research actualized. Declaring rivalries and proclamation broadcasts. More edict duration. It's just so oh so welcome. Hmm. Naval capacity. Not needed right now. Food from jobs. We're getting better there. Hmm. Army stuff. No, let's go for food. We can afford some economic stuff now. I believe. Put Paul on it. And let's 
Trinidad's Gleb going back into the fray. Consumer goods is what we need, but we'll have that in the future. No worries. Be happy. Where's the... Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it's building up. Where do we have, we have our own strange megastructure here? Yeah, there's that, the Sentry Spire that costs us and that is doing nothing. Hey, 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 Nathan Rigdon has leveled up to level 9. Just simply the best. What do we have here? Ah, oh, yeah. Taking that stuff down. And now for the next fleet. Moving in. Maybe we'll catch them with a perdition beam. Faction founded. The, the cyberpunk ascendancy movement. We have so many factions I've lost count. Uh, Mintaka or Inegori? They're fleeing to Inegori. Let's follow them. I think that's pretty fun. Someone following us. Research ah, yeah. Actualized. A battleship. Shield harmonics. 5% better shields and whoa, more energy credits from jobs. <laughs> Getting there. <laughs> yeah, playing catch. Rita Perkins, the trickster. Well, at least trickster is not bad. But Mattress Wilson is on the job with his 220 covets. Taking everything out in seconds. Especially the battleships. Oh, yes. Here we go. We lost one corvette. No. Taken them down. We've lost one corvette and they've lost six, three. It was good. Now where to go? Gitzurak. Uh, I'm not sure. What's going on? They have a megastructure there. A strategic coordination center site. Only a site though. I believe we could, we could start to go to Brachium and... Uh, actually, I'd like to go to Mintaka. And then we can move back and take these and also the, the centers there. I mean the planets or whatever that is. And that would be cool. Now, what we could start now is we could look at, at habitats again. And let's, let us see here what we have available for us. We could start some trade here. We could start some upgrading, seriously. And the burning fur ball, is there something? There is something, I think. Let's see, for example, here. Saboramon. Has that thing. Sentry view is above that thing. Ah, yeah, that's the moon, so you cannot have a habitat there. Then we have this, Fridgar. And that's actually pretty good, so let's... Let's fly over to Fridgar. Destroy that station, can we do that? Disband the station. Oh. 
energy habitat. Here we go. It's fine. Unemployment on the barren banana and here on the star base. Can we do something? We have a shipyard. We'd like to have a colony ship. Hmm. Waiting forever. That's the problem in late game Stellaris. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, let's let's send some of the new Eden. Cyberpunks. The actual rulers of this, right? Our actual rulers. Strike Force Dragon returns soon. And we can go for another habitat. Let's see. Freedom's Red Alert. Red Alert Mining we've constructed. And that's working very well. A lot of jobs open. Maybe we could build something else there, some other habitat or stuff. Whatever, you know. Build a mega structure here, would that be good? It looks okay. Here we go. Another transmission from the artisan troop. Yeah, we'll give you more for a deal for more unity. More energy credits, please. I play bad guys. Has gained a level. Congratulations. Now, let's see. What's going on here? There's warmth. There's the root. A humid rocky world. Yeah, that, that's nice. Woo, what's going on here? Oh, the station. Yeah, that's nice too. Research actualized. Mintaka, we have the transport fleet. Incoming and metacompression incoming and you know planet build speed is not so bad. Let's go for a little bit of planet build speed. Here we go. The mentored. <laughs> Out there to research. Perfect alibi, Jackson. Returning to the ship. We should now. Oh, I don't know exactly what to do. Maybe, maybe. The Bayan Armada is going back here. There's something here. Maybe let's fly over here to Ovasti. Ovastivum. That sounds cool enough. And where did we have that other thing now? Yeah, I think it was somewhere in the mountains, right? Freedom's Red Alert. Where do we have you? Got some hostile ships present. What in Ketonia? Ah! <laughs> Crying! No! We have shipyards here. Ah, oh, how quickly can we get something done? A cruiser of the disruptor class. How strong is that thing? I don't really know. But it's only 84 days. Oh, can we get a couple of corvettes then? Corvette is like 300, right? 
build five corvettes here and then move move somewhere out over here i don't know oh, station under assault look at that they are ooh, they are getting pretty close to us that's not great that's not great we cannot let this stand um Yeah, they should be okay right now. Let's move back. Back to, I don't know, Neverland. So we're going through here. And... Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going... To Neverland, Neverland, Neverland. Here we go. Speed yourselves up, will you? Starfleet's present. Yeah, that's that's a big problem. It is. The modes must flow, my friends. The modes must flow. Three corvettes of the subjugator class. Let's hope we'll survive this. That's only the testing force. There's more. Ah, we'll, we can take them on directly then. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. So next time, trying to get the, get the Shazarak directive down as much as we can. And uh, let's hope our allies don't screw the mammoth tree thing up. A great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon and happy gaming.